Hey guys, so here I have a Fjall Raven Kankin um, pocket. This is called a pocket. So it's basically a small purse and it's about five inches by seven and a half inches. So, or 19 by oh, 13. So you have the little logo here, button here, and the little flag here. And I did do the, it's supposed to be, you can either wear it over your shoulder or as a crossbody. I am 5'6", and I have about this much left. If I do it a crossbody and um, wear it very low on my hip, which is how I like it. So it's definitely long enough for, uh, for pretty much anything. So this is the redwood color. And it's the G1000 fabric, so it's supposed to be even more sturdy than the, the backpacks. So you have a tiny pocket back here, and a main pocket here, and a tiny pocket up here as well. It's a really nice color. So I have a large phone, and this is my new wallet. Uh, if I try to stick them in like this, it doesn't fit very well. However, if I kind of layer it where it goes in, and this is a, a, an OtterBox case, the Defender. So this is pretty much as big of a case as you can get. So this is probably as big of a phone as anybody could possibly have. <laughs> so um, it makes for a good example of what you can fit in here. Uh, so if I stick it all the way in, then it does close, I think, yep. So if you want a super lightweight bag where all you have is your phone and a small wallet, then it does work. Okay, what else fits in here? This is a Kindle. A Kindle does fit. Uh, Kindle fits. If you are going to stick a Kindle in there, I'm not sure how much else you could get in there. That might be it. This is a small camera. I mean, um, printer. It's a Canon Ivy Mini. It's one of those mini printers. That fits in well. So if it's something pretty small, like, and it's, so you can either have something thin and long or a little bit bulkier, but shorter <laughs> if you still want it to close. Uh, let's see, let's do a pen. You can stick a, pan, a pen in on the side or you can stick a pen in this way, no problems. Let's see what else. Oh, well, you know what? Let's also compare this to, this is the Fjall Raven sling. So it's smaller than the sling. It's very lightweight. Um, let's compare it to the Fjall Raven. This is the mini backpack. It's obviously way smaller than a mini backpack. So you know what? I'll do a whole comparison. So this is the regular backpack regular backpack um, the classic size uh, here's a graphite um, mini backpack and it's pretty raggedy looking because it did go in the washing machine once or twice but it's held up really well <laughs> like um, so these are definitely very good quality and I've had this for like four years and it's been used a lot and as has this one, um, and they're still in actually pretty good shape. So, so here's the classic mini mini. Here's the new sling I just got, even smaller. And here's the pocket for comparison. So let's see, let's get that out of the way and see what else fits in the pocket. Here's an AirPods case. Let's 
see. An AirPods case does fit back here, but if you're gonna put that in, then you're gonna put something small in here because it does kind of bulk it up. But an AirPods case fits in the back. Um, let's see, what, did I already try this pencil case? This little pencil case does not fit in here. And that's just, and that this is a super tiny pencil case, so. Here's a Hobonichi Weeks. It does not fit. <laughs> Here is a Hobonichi A6. Uh, let's see. Hobonichi A6 might actually fit. A Hobonichi A6 with a cover on cover does actually fit. So you can take your Hobonichi with you if you just wanted, if you just wanted a little bag to carry around your, um, this is an A6 notebook, an A6 notebook with a pen, uh, this would work. So that fits, A6 notebook fits. Four by six art journal definitely fits, no problems. Midori notebook, um, not even close on a Midori notebook. Now, if you just have a slim wallet and you wanna just throw a slim wallet in there, definitely fits, no issues. If you just wanna throw your phone in there, also definitely fits, no issues. Uh, what did I have? I had a tiny little notebook here. I don't know where it went. Um, oh, so here's a tiny little notebook. It's super small. It's from, a, um, moleskin it does not actually fit in this pocket back here it does not fit but it does fit here it's about this notebook is about the size of a credit card so i don't think a credit card would fit back there um it does fit here you know what let me try a credit card i'll open my wallet and get a card so let me get a card Oh, okay. I have a Michael's gift card. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, it's actually a slightly bigger than. So obviously you can stick some credit cards or makeup or whatever you want up here. Let's see if this pocket is. So if you want to stick a credit card in here, it will not fit. It will not zip up this way, but it does fit this way. So if all you have is a few credit cards, you can do that. You can also just have a wallet that doesn't have space for coins and cash, and you can carry your cards. So you could, if you just have a few cards, you could carry them in here, and then you could put all your cash and coins back here, for example. So it's actually very versatile. Um, I personally just bought it to carry around my wallet and phone. So what I can do is, just keep my wallet in this bag all the time and throw this into my work bag. So if I want to stop by a store after work, I don't have to drag my entire work bag with me. I can just take this with my phone and my wallet and go into the store. Um, I got this on eBay and I did, you know, it, this is the genuine thing. Um, on Amazon, they're anywhere from 30 to $40. I got it on eBay for $20. So, and that includes shipping, and that was a pretty good deal. So, um, yeah, so shop around, and if you have any questions about this or um, any of my other CanCan -can, um, stuff, then let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.